Let's start with a place out on the edge of the server's map called Doodle. Doodle was a remote worksite where I was working out how to build a functioning redstone computer. My very first task was to build a working memory module. You're looking at a whopping 4 bytes of RAM with a 4-bit word length and 8 memory addresses. The controls are ugly but functional. The levers let you select memory address. That address's value is shown here. If you set your input value here, then pressing right will send a signal to stored in memory. Inputs from the control panel are wired into each memory address. Each address stores input using a flip-flop, and a right signal flips its flop, updating its output. Each row uses a series of four exclusive NOR gates for address matching. The output is then passed back to the control panel. I'm sure this design could be improved on and expanded, and there's timing and other issues involved, but it's operational and ready to be used for main memory and hardware registers. With a memory module up and running, I knew any CPU needed a data bus, so I laid out a design for one. I tested a circuit for a 4-bit binary adder. I also built the start of a 4-operation Boolean logic circuit. I never finished it. I wanted a digital readout, and that called for a test platform. Not that I ever figured out how to make the thing work. I tested most of the redstone circuits I used in this project out here. There's memory and logic circuits, signal strength meters, and contraptions of unknown purpose. I also built this machine, an automated sugarcane harvester. It uses bud detectors to trigger on cane growth, and the system harvests all the cane in each growth channel. It's got four channels, all feeding into a single output. I also built a bouncy house racetrack where runners could struggle through an obstacle course to the finish line. Might have helped if I'd told anybody about it. But a canal system made for fast boat travel. And finally there's this, which should be self-explanatory. Next up, we've got the very first thing I made when I arrived at this server, Castle. Built from the finest cobblestone, Castle was built to serve as my starting headquarters. It even attracted a few neighbors, like this guy. The castle has seven main levels. Each level has a purpose whether I remember what it is or not. Some look like they were in use, others not so much. They extend all the way down past the work center and farming area to a lobby at ground level and below. There was no specific plan to the building's construction, I just built, and the entire structure went up at random whim all around one key room. My work center. An operations center where I kept all my critical equipment and supply inventory. Above that there's the upper levels. A simple automated furnace for material processing. A netherrack thing that served some unknown purpose. A roof. An empty, empty roof. Below the work center I found a much larger furnace system. And you can't make it in survival mode without a reliable food supply. I found this machine down in the lobby. A Mark I chicken engine. When I turned it on it started shooting eggs into a reaction chamber. Some of those eggs turned into chickens. And also spat out a bunch of garbage, possibly due to a previous industrial accident. Looking around the back of the machine, I found a door and a lever that opened a release valve. The door opened to reveal the inner workings of the device. The machine has a very slow charging cycle, averaging one chicken for every eight eggs. Along with the chicken reactor, the lobby also features a giant pit. At the bottom of that pit is a sewer. And inside that sewer is a dungeon. Or something dungeon-like. Let's just say it's dungeonish. It's got stone and fire and iron bars and doesn't look very cozy. Okay, it's not much of a dungeon. As for the chicken engine, it's still charging up. We'll be back to check on it later.